Got the chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking Plus she good that charming what is going on you guys, it's your boy Ferg here, coming back with another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Pushing to Grand Champion using Siege decks. So we're going to be using our Mortar deck again today, as you can see that is my Mortar deck, I have barely pushed this season, so this episode, what I'm going to do is, and then I'm going to start recording. So I'm going to actually push up to 4800, going to be a breeze for me, I'm really really low in trophies right now for my card levels, so I'll probably end up losing maybe one or two games on the way, and then I'm going to start recording again at 4800, and I'm going to show you me getting to 4900 so i think that's gonna be pretty interesting for you guys leave out all the boring pits or boring bits sorry and uh, it'll kind of i don't know it'll kind of freshen things up a bit i'll be a bit more higher in trophies you guys like to see me get higher in trophies you don't like to see me down this low so i'll definitely be doing that for today's episode also big announcement if you guys want to see another roast i'm either going to be roasting quibble cop uh, SS Sunday, I think that's his name. I've never watched SS Sunday, but I have watched Quibble Cop. I used to watch him back when he used to upload GTA vids about four years ago when he used to stunt. And then Ali A, who I did also watch way back in the day and when Modern Warfare 3 was the newest Call of Duty, Call of Duty out, I watched Ali A. So yeah, Quibble Cop, Ali A, or SS Sunday. Uh, those are the three options for you guys if you want me to roast them put it in the comment below which one you guys want me to roast and I will definitely do that this week because that jelly video went pure fire got 200 likes by the time I woke up which is absolutely incredible for us guys I really thank you a lot for that video so yeah guys without further ado like comment subscribe if you're new put on notifications let's get in to the video next time you're gonna see me I'm gonna be at 4800 trophies and we're gonna get rocking guys Alright guys, we are back and now we're going to try and get our push to 4900. As you can see here in the chat, I said 4600 to 4900 real quick. So I got up 24 minutes ago, I was sitting at what, like, what was I even sitting at? As you can see here from my win log, win, 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 and then I drew my first game. I drew my first game there against the three musk. I don't know what I was doing. Like, I really, really should have won the first game, like, really, really easily. But I just couldn't pull off the double or the double rocket at the end because of his three musks. So, yeah, we're going to use this deck. I showed you it in the intro. And we're going to go ahead straight into a match. We're basically at 4,800. We're, like, I think it was, like, 12 trophies away from 4,800. But I just said around 4,800 and I'll start recording again. So, we didn't lose yet. So, we're going to try a again. And we're going to... um try and keep our flawless streak going right here guys so we got the princess down okay this could be detrimental to what we want to do right here we don't want to lose this is a very bad start for us but of course our fire spirits are coming in clutch right there helping clean up that minion horde which is really nice really really nice for us um okay so he's going to be using the mortar as well so this is going to be pretty interesting I'm gonna put an offensive slash defensive mortar down um playing against mortar is probably I don't know, I don't know, I, uh, I don't know what to say about playing as more. Sometimes I really like it, sometimes I don't. And uh, we're going to kill this archer here on the right side, and then our archers are going to go ahead and shoot on his tower, hopefully. Oh, he has the log, of course he has the log, he's using mortar. What am I saying? What am I saying, guys? So this guy has minion horde. I believe this guy has retaliations mortar deck. If you want to know what retaliations mortar deck is, if you go on to Clash with Ashes channel, he made a video on it. If this guy, okay, I just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he knew what I was gonna do. So this is like I'm playing against like the new meta mortar deck Whereas mine's the old meta mortar deck. I might switch up and play the new meta mortar deck I'm not really too sure yet. It does actually look kind of cool But I haven't really gotten around to using it yet I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna drop a mortar defense or okay So he's dropping those archers on the defense. That's fine with me I'm gonna log them back and then our mortar will touch them once I believe and it'll kill them Oh, so there's one one left, unfortunately, for us. There is one... Oh, wait, so this is uh, this is going to be quite... I'm going to put a defensive mortar down. Right, that's good, that's good. We've got, our, we've got our mortar set up. This is... If he doesn't have rocket, or if he does have rocket, this is going to turn into a rocket each other's tar game right here. I actually haven't played against mortar in probably... I don't, I don't think I've played against mortar this season yet. Like, mortar is so out of the meta right now that it's really hard to come by a mortar player uh, nowadays. So we're going to go ahead and drop our troops down right there that is pretty bad pretty pretty bad defense in in uh, my opinion right there and uh, i'm not not really sure what to do um probably should have saved my log for those guys but we're gonna go ahead and put the log down for the archers so when we kill the knight that the mortar kills the archers 
Of course, he's dropping the Goblin Gang. I'm probably going to stop doing that now because his Goblin Gang is getting through quite well. So we're going to stop. We're going to start logging his archers back for my mortar, and we're just going to stay like this. I think this is going to be a draw, guys. I'm probably going to play for a draw because this guy has got the better mortar deck right here, and I don't really want to lose. So um, I'm not really sure what to do right here, guys. Ooh. There, we're going to drop the knight down. Then I'm going to drop the archers down. And probably play an offensive mortar, I believe I might play. Yeah, I'm going to play an offensive mortar. Then I'm going to log back all that stuff. And then I'm going to play the fire spirits because I think he's going to drop minion horde. Nope, he's not going to drop his minion horde. That's kind of interesting. So hopefully we can pull off the draw here. Um, this is kind of weird. I, I, I haven't really played against this deck before. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a first time. It's the first time thing playing against this deck. Hopefully that more doesn't get another hit. It does not get another hit, which is really nice for us. Gonna go ahead and drop that down there. Drop a princess. Waiting for his goblin gang right here. He does have goblin gang. Pretty sure I'm gonna lose um, this game, not gonna lie. Then we're gonna drop that. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, there's no way. How the heck did I win against this deck? We might actually have to use it. Oh my gosh, GG. Ooh. Oh my god, I went so quiet there because I was trying to like actually draw the game. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about being good. Oh my gosh, we actually drew. Woo! That guy had me, man. That guy had me so, so hard right there. That was insane. That guy literally had me on the tips of his fingers right there. I am so happy I drew. Let me see this guy's deck. So this guy has got a really nice mortar deck right there. Let's see his PB. Okay, so his PB is pretty damn high. He's got a 5,700. So that's pretty good for him, man. That's a, that's a really nice deck. It's a really nice mortar deck. I was, I was uh, really struggling right there. And we're going to go ahead and play another match there. I'm so happy I drew that and didn't lose my win streak. Or my no loss streak, I should say. So we're going to go ahead and play another match here. I really want to um, get up to 4,900 right here. And um, let's see what we can do. Drop the fire spirits. Boom, boom, boom. Then drop the mortar, put the knight in head. Hopefully that fire spirit won't go ahead and we will be able to... Okay, it's going to go ahead. Damn, boy. Yes, target the skeleton. Nice. Let's go. So we're going to get... Yep, log ready. Easy log predictions right there, guys. There's going to be two skeletons. Okay. <laughs> Another goblin gang user. We're going to have to save the log for that. Um, I'm not going to log the skeleton army anymore unless it's directly on top of my mortar. I can take the skeleton army with, out with my princess because the princess gets it in one shot but the princess doesn't get the goblin gang in one shot so that's why i'm saving the log for the goblin gang and the goblin uh, barrel of course he has a goblin barrel in hand right now let's see if he yes he is going to use it so we're going to drop our fire spirits right there preemptively for his goblin gang the goblin gets one hit off which is all right in my opinion then we're going to drop the knight down he is going to drop his princess down so we're going to go ahead and kill that princess right there oh why did you do that more <laughs> why would you do that we're going to go ahead and drop archers here, predicting something, either Goblin Gang or Skelly Army. He's not going to do that. That's that's all right. That's all right. Uh, he does have Goblin Gang and Skeleton Army on his hand right now, or in his hand, I should say. Let's see what we can do right here, guys. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to place a card. What is he going to place? I'm going to put a Princess at the bridge. He's probably going to Goblin Gang me, but it's whatever. Nope, he's not put anything. To okay, so yeah, now we're definitely going to go ahead and log all of that stuff back. Put our... Um, Mortar at the br wait. Why was my knight not placing? What was that about? Okay, never mind. It placed. It's all good. Right. So his skeletons are over on one side. We're gonna try and take them out before. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So our, our mortars locked onto onto our tar right here. And we're gonna get ready for our log. Yo, this is this is really good right here. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, this is game, boy. Let's go. Easy, easy game, boy. Yeah, this guy's given up. He knows he can't do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy game, boy. That one screw up that that guy made right there just cost him the game. Let's go. Easy three crown mortar. I'm really happy that this guy actually gave up because this would have just been a really boring game for you guys to watch. Because it was basically as soon as I got that tar, I knew that I had won this game. I had really good counters for his deck. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and play the third match. So we are 1-0 in... In the recording, but we are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, six, oh, two. So we've won six, we've lost none, and we've 
Drawn two. That's exactly yes. That is it. So we're up to 4,800 right now. We're going until we get 4,900. I don't care how long this video is. I want my 4,900 now, boy. So this guy looks like he's a Twitch streamer. So uh, I will be streaming this because I'm going to trash his ass. And uh, we're going to split archers at the back right here. Uh, we're going to see what he plays. He's going to play an ice golem. Oh, this could be a hog deck or a graveyard. If it's a graveyard, I might actually lose this. If it's a hog deck, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to win this. Wait, what? This guy's got Night Witch. Thanks for the value on the rocket there, sir. Putting that rocket down there. Killing the bats also. Um, hopefully... Oh, wow. Okay. So this could be interesting. This could indeed be interesting. Okay. Pop the mortar down there. Attracting the bandit and the barbarians. Hopefully that'll get a shot off. Nope. Not going to be the case. Oh, no. The, the one fire spirit got through. Damn, that's unlucky. So the Barbarian's going to get one hit off in our tower. We're going to drop a Princess here to defend against these Furnace Shots, or Fire Spirits, I should call them, lol. So the Fire Spirits are coming down. If I had a Rocket right here, I would have been able to Rocket it, but I don't. Well, this could be dirt dodgy. Nice, our Princess got off that second shot. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, he's going to go ahead and Fireball us right there, which is decent, decent. He's got a level 4 Inferno Dragon, which is kind of insane that he has an Inferno Dragon that high, like... Other legendaries are acceptable, but you've got an Inferno Dragon that's that high, bro. Like, bruh. Damn, he got another uh, Fire Spirit wave off there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill this. Um, oh, he's got some. He's got some tasty, tasty movement up here. This guy's obviously got a Bridge Spam deck, which is a really good counter for my deck, which is all right, I guess. Doesn't really bother me too much. We get a shot off in the tar. He's probably gonna fireball my archers here when I place them down. I don't want to get that Inferno Dragon to lock onto my tar. If he doesn't fireball this, I'm going to be really surprised because that is some va fireball value right there. What? He's not going to fireball it? No way! This is going to get me so much value right here. Let's go. Boy, what is he doing? Is he dumb? Come on, you're meant to be a Twitch streamer, bro. Like, pick up your game. I'm going to log this back and then put a mortar down right there. Going to go ahead and kill all this stuff. Surely he's going to fireball these archers. Or fireball the archers and the princess when the princess moves forward. Surely that is what you're going to do here, my buddy. Yes, he is. He is going to do exactly what I said he was going to do. So we can predict that. Get our mortar on the ready. Get it down. Easy wins. Put the princess up to shoot the furnace. Very nice. Hopefully it targets. Yes, it does. Very nice play by us. Going to go ahead and stop this bandit, bro. We're killing it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Get good. <laughs> Get good, bro. Oh my gosh, guys, we're killing this game right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the skeletons here to uh, take away his ice golem. Easy wins. That is gonna be all she wrote, guys. We are absolutely killing it. Rocket for the win. Sorry about that madness, Twitch, but you are not good. I am gonna destroy you. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> lol 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 right gg to that guy only joking madness twitch if you're watching this video from twitch then uh, gg i hope he's actually streaming right now because then uh, some people might actually see that i beat him on stream so that's pretty good so two more matches and i will be able to get to 4900 let's keep this clean sheet guys i believe we can keep this clean sheet never level 12 may from convicted let's see what we can do right here so in my opinion, this is my first proper push where I'm actually getting up more than just like 100 trophies. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this like so far. We're going to keep going until I get 4,900. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure to put hashtag FergFam down in the chat. We're going to put a knight down there. He's got a knight, so that's kind of a predicament. He's got a knight and a tombstone, which is a real predicament for our mortar deck because tombstone is a really, really hard counter for mortar, as you guys probably already know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to split the ice or the fire spirits up in case he goes to the right lane as well. Okay, so this guy has actually got a Pega. Okay, so I'm going to drop the rocket here. Oh, the value, boys. Level 7 Pega, you are down. You are down nearly half health now. And now oh, below half health now. So we stopped that push really, really well, in my opinion. We got a really nice value rocket there. That was pretty good by us. We're going to restack on Tail Elixir and see what he plays. He has got so many counters to our deck. I think this guy's... And guys, I think this, I might go for a draw this game. I really am thinking about going for a draw. I can't see myself winning this game with the cards that he has. He has Knight, Pega, Tombstone all to play against my Mortar when I drop a Mortar, which is really, really bad for us. Because, like, that's three counters that directly counter my Mortar shot, which is really, really annoying. And he has Graveyard as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to go for a draw this game. Hoping that I can get the Archers down in time. I'm going to go ahead and just log this because I don't want any more damage done to my tar. Uh, we need it. Yeah, there we go. That's all good. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and do I go this way? I think I'm gonna go on the right side because I want to keep pressure up on the right side, the side that he's actually coming at me at. So the mortar's gonna go down. Mortar's gonna clean up. Then we're gonna drop our fire spirits on that mega minion. Hopefully it doesn't. Yes. Wait, what? No, it's on like zero health. Please, Tar. Yes, the Tar's coming in clutch. Drop our skeletons down there, and that's gonna be another two mortar shots. Oh, will the archers kill it in time? No, they killed it in time. That's so annoying. So he will be coming in with the graveyard very, very shortly right here. Very shortly indeed. Okay, so he's going to drop the mortar. I'm going to drop a princess on the other side of the lane because I don't want him to get RO value on the princess. Then I'm going to drop a knight down there for the... the for, oh, he's going to get the value anyway. That's dirty. So gonna, I'm going to drop a mortar down here. Targeting that, um, that uh, pega right there. And then... Oh, please target the pega. Yeah, it does. So that's nice for us. Then we're going to drop our fire spirits down there. Followed by... Oh, this is going to be dirty. This is going to be dirty. We're going to kill that peg. Are we? Are we? Are we? We got the peg. Nice, nice, nice. We need to kill that mega minion on our tower, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get our stuff down. Let's go. We need to get this win, boys. I don't want to take a loss right here. Okay, this could be a very, very dirty for us right here. He is dropping that peg. Really nice play by him. Going to drop the knight down. Then I'm going to split the archers. Both sides receiving some sort of archerage. We're going to take that. We're gonna take, yo, go, 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 go. Yes, we're gonna take it on the tar. It's on the tar right now, guys. Our mortar is on the tar. We are gonna get ready with another mortar. Hopefully that gets another shot. It's not gonna get another shot. We're gonna put down another knight. Then we're gonna follow it up. Oh gosh, please, please don't target the skeleton. Damn it, target the skeleton, guys. That is not good. I wanted it to target the um, tombstone right there. So we're gonna drop the fire spirits in. And that is gonna be killing the um, mega minion right there, unfortunately. It did get our um, mortar down. Of course, he's dropping another P.E.K.K.A. right there. This is a really, really tough game, you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off the win right here. I might even lose it, depending on how well he pushes me. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. I'm going to go ahead and rocket all of this stuff, because I don't want any of its stuff uh, reaching me. So we've got the rocket down. Hopefully that'll... Yes, it got the P.E.K.K.A. in time. We need to kill those archers right there. Very nice. So yeah, guys. I think this could be a draw right here, depending on how things are going to turn out in this... Our princess just went clutch. Holy. Oh my god. That pega was not targeted there. I was literally gonna freak out if I did not kill that pega. Oh my gosh. Uh, you see me drop the log because nothing was targeted, but my princess came in clutch, boys. So we're gonna go ahead and play another game straight away here, and we're gonna see how we can do in this next game. That was a really big counter deck for us to verse. I'm really happy we came out with a draw right there. We're playing Sufi JR. Su Sufi Jr.? Sufi Jr.? I think that's what this guy's name is. Hopefully he doesn't have a counter deck. Hopefully he has... A deck similar to ours. Gonna drop a princess at the bridge. He's got a prince. Okay. Haven't seen prince in quite a while. Not gonna lie right there. Oh my god. This could be a very disgusting deck for us to play against. And um, we're gonna probably gonna need to... Oh! He just he just messed up his arrows. Let's go. So we're gonna go ahead and put the mortar down. That was a really bad mortar placement by us. Hopefully we can get the log up. Yes, we can. Waiting for him to play something on the ground. Hopefully play something ground unity and not something okay. We're going to go ahead and drop our skeletons right here. Hopefully our tar- yes, our tar is going to be able to target that. That is going to be a zap right there. So we're going to go ahead and put our knight down. The mortars, or the hog's going to get no hits on our tar. We've got a knight up, probably around the same elixir because he did waste those arrows right now. So I'm predicting he's around the same elixir. I haven't actually counted it. Um, going to put a princess down to splash damage all of these barbarians right here, which is really nice play by us. He's going to drop a princess, going to log his princess back. Um, easy plays, easy plays. Waiting to see, waiting to see what he has right here, guys. I'm um, gonna drop a mortar, I believe, right here. Predicting a prince to come down. Um, oh, he's got a Valkyrie instead of a prince, which is all right by me. Still predicting that prince, though. Gotta keep those skeletons there in case he drops that. Okay, he's gonna be dropping a musketeer right there, which is kind of annoying. I was, I didn't realize he actually had that card. Um, we're gonna get some nice shots off if he doesn't arrow this. Um, he's going to get arrow value on a, on a archer and a princess right here. If he does, yep, there you go. Thought the arrows were going to come in. They do come in. That tar is in rocket range right now, so we are going to win this game. I'm pretty confident that I can defend this guy's measly pushes. I am probably going to drop a princess on this side so it doesn't get um, arrow value while it's shooting. I want this princess to stay in our half. I don't want it to shoot over to the other half right here. I'm going to see if that could be the case. If not, if he's not going to play anything, I'm just going to go ahead and put a mortar up there. Defend both lanes like this. Like so, got that nice little archer right there. Then we're gonna drop the skeletons. Uh, gonna drop the knight as well. I want to keep my archer alive. Um, the prince is gonna go into our tar or into our mortar like so. 
Hopefully that, yep, it's gonna get the uh, hog to go over to the uh, mortar right there, which is really nice play by us. This is gonna be GG, guys. This guy can't do anything against my deck. I've got nice counters, solid counters to his deck. Of course, he does have two really big tanks and a hog rider, but the, it doesn't look like he's gonna be actually utilizing them much against my... Um, my mortar, which is kind of done by him. I'm gonna go ahead and put the archers in front of the mortar this time because I don't want them to get I don't want my mortar to get targeted, sorry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff down. Of course he's got that nice little hog rider right there. Um he is gonna zap it. I'm just gonna go ahead and fire spirit and then I'm gonna rocket his tar for the win. Um okay, so he's gonna put the prince down. We're gonna have to like wait a little bit before I actually get the win here, unfortunately, because this guy is going hard right now. He is not giving me that win. You know what? I'm going to go for the other side and just log it just for a little bit of BM, guys. I like I like going out on a little bit of BM because I, I could have obviously taken his right-hand tower so, so long ago. But I decided to go for the left-hand tower as well. Just showing my dominance in, my, in the games, guys. Showing the dominance. I'm going to give some cards here. And I'm going to open up my crown chest. See what I get. Not going to get anything good. Give me a rocket. Nope, not going to be the case. We're going to win. Hopefully, this is our last game. And hopefully, we get to Master 3 right here. Let's see if we can actually pull off the Master 3 W right here. We are going to be playing against Lily from, I don't know that clan name. She is also a level 12. Going to see if we can have a clean sheet right here. So far, I believe we are 8-0, 8-0-2, I believe. Or 8-0-3, actually. We drew another game, I believe. I think we drew another game. We drew three games and we've won 8 so far. We haven't lost any. So hopefully we can keep going with our clean sheet. Going to split up these skeletons because he did spawn a knight at the back. Not really sure what I'm going to do right now. I think I'm just going to... Okay, so that's going to be some nice little rocket value right there. Um, He's obviously going to have the minion horde. No! No, you guys, this is going to be absolutely insane. There's, he's going to get so much damage off on our tower because of that ice spirit below the minion horde. That was a really, really good play by him right there. That was absolutely detrimental to us. We would have won the game there. I'm telling you right now, if he hadn't placed that ice spirit and my fire spirits had connected with his minion horde, that would have been GG. So very good play by that um, person, Lily is her name i think it's a her most people called lily are her so yeah i think it's a her this guy is actually playing a minor deck so i believe we can actually still pretty much win this game uh, i know I'm, I'm usually a bit i'm a bit confident in a lot of my pushing videos because i am so low at the minute as i will get higher i will probably lose a lot of that confidence hello please get all of them nice 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 we got all of them okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the knight. Am I? No, I'm not because we don't need it Please nice. That's good. That's good. Actually, I am gonna drop the knight because I don't want him to kill my princess I believe he won't kill a princess. He I don't know what uh, actual troops he has to kill it Okay, so he's gonna drop um, The minion horde down there Then I'm gonna drop the fire spirits over here Boom boom. He predicted my fire spirits a little bit too far away Which is really nice for us getting ready with the mortar right here We don't have knight for uh, our mortar to put in front of our mortar as soon as we spawn it So I'm gonna go with the skeletons this time because they are one elixir and uh, putting down those skeletons right here Taking any damage that's gonna come my way. Okay, so he is gonna. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really good play by him uh, please, please target. No, it's not. Okay, I was I was kind of hoping that it was going to target my archer. Anyway, our mortar's still going to shoot once at the tar. Hopefully he doesn't drop that. Oh, no, he just dropped the ice spirit. Never mind. So we're going to go ahead and drop another mortar down right here, followed by the skeletons in front. I'm pretty sure this guy has three musks really close to his hand. Um, if not in his hand, he does have them in his hand, but he, like, really close to an elixir, I meant. Um, going to go ahead and drop this. Stopping everything that comes in our way right now, guys. Hopefully we can kill that. Yes, we do. Going to drop that princess. Then we're going to go ahead and drop another mortar, hoping that we can get the mortar up. Yes, we do. Getting the skeletons down, followed by the archers, then followed by these fire spirits right here. Going to go ahead and drop the um, knight in front of there to get... I'm going to log that back, actually. I don't want those skeletons getting loads of tower damage off. Um, going to drop, I believe, that right there. Then that should be all she wrote, guys. We have just succeeded on getting to, I believe... 4,900 trophies right here. Really easy game again, guys. I am absolutely killing it down this low right here. So that was a really easy game, guys. Let's see our Masters 3 badge right here. Easy wins, easy Ws, 27 trophies. Thank you very much. And there we go, guys. One trophy over Masters 3 or Masters 1. Why am I keep saying Masters 3? Masters 1, guys, getting that new draft chest. This is where we are going to be aiming. Wait, what? I went down instead of up, lol. <laughs> this is where we are going to be aiming this season. 
I want Grand Champion, guys. I want Grand Champion. I'm going to be pushing so, so hard for the next couple of weeks. So there's going to be a lot of these videos. I know you guys enjoy them. It's coming to the end of the season now. So I'm going to be pushing really, really hard, pumping out a lot of these videos. And I hope you guys enjoy them. So we did hit Master 1. I kept saying Master 3. I don't know why. Uh, but it's whatever. I think that's because Master 3 is what I was last season, I'm pretty sure. But it's whatever. Um... So yeah, congrats. My clammy is saying congrats to me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We did go ahead and go flawless. Let's count how many wins I got. One, two, three. Oh, wait, no. One, two, draw. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine wins and three draws, I believe. So that's 903. So we went on a nine win streak in today's episode. If that's not deserving of a thumbs up, I don't know what is, guys. So make sure to hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. If you want to join my Discord, it is also in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be in the Ferg farm. And without further ado, guys, let's roll the outro.